Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Today I'm gonna show you how to organize all those nail supplies that you have at your nail station. So we're gonna take this ugly drawer and turn it into this drawer here, which I'm so excited with how it turned out. So in my nail studio, I have always had kind of an area where I have bulk and excess supplies. In this new studio, it is this location right by my sink. So when we were designing my nail studio, I wanted to make sure that I had a set of drawers so that I could keep all of those excess supplies in. Now the mistake that I made when we were designing this is that there's only one shallow drawer and the rest are very deep. So I wish that I would have done two shallow drawers instead. When you have deep storage like this, it's super easy for it to get cluttered very, very quickly and this was not a drawer that I focused on when I was setting up my nail studio. I just wanted to get everything in the drawer. But now this drawer is driving me nuts because it's just a whole bunch of really small little objects that just have no home and need to be better organized. I did want to show you guys how I organize this top shallow drawer here. So this is all of my backup products, any of my gels, any of my art tools, any of my glues, my forms, uh, top glosses, anything like this. This is how I organize this small drawer. Typically nail supplies are quite small, so utilizing any of the shallow drawers this way makes a lot of sense. I keep all of my backup gels on the left hand side. I keep all of my top glosses in this clear acrylic polish organizer that I got from Walmart. These are a perfect size because they hold the ugly duckling gel polishes, which not all of the storage containers do that. Then this back clear organizer is again from Walmart, just in the home section, and it is divided very nicely to kind of separate any of your cuticle oils, your forms, your glue, and any of the excess products that you might use. It also works really well as a brush storage in the middle for your backup brushes. Okay, back to the task at hand. Whenever you are starting any sort of organizational project, you want to first clear out the entire space that is driving you nuts, and you want to sort and decide what it is that you have and what needs to be stored. This way you'll be able to find the storage systems that work best. For My main motivation for organizing this drawer, besides it being aesthetically pleasing, is the fact that whenever I need to order more supplies, I want to be able to look in this drawer and see exactly what I'm running low on, so your next task after clearing out the space is to sort it and see fully what it is that you have. So I am just sorting everything here by sanding bands, by these little rings, by cuticle oil, by wipes, by files, anything that I have in this drawer, I just kind of want to get a whole idea of what needs to go back into it. So the problem with a deep drawer is that you want to be able to utilize the height space with it. Now with nail stuff, it comes small supplies. I found this canister set at Walmart in the kitchen section and I thought it would work perfect for storing all of our nail supplies in one location that is a very tall space. So you want to lay out your organizers in your drawer, how you think it'll fit. Luckily, all three of these fit nicely across. So then you just start putting all of your supplies in. So you want to utilize the height space of the taller units for your most tall supplies, such as your files or your LE buffers. Now I'm a fan of taking most things out of their packaging, but for nice square containers, I do like to just kind of stack it in the back. I thought that looked well and it was easy to find. I did unpackage all of my cuticle oils and put them in the smaller container. I decided to keep my micro swabs in these little baggies that they came in just because they're all different sizes. Same thing with all of my swatch sticks. I decided to keep them in the little baggies because when I need to restock, I can just grab a baggie and put it into my filming cart. Because I have a lot of sponges, I wanted to utilize the middle size container for those. You could put a lid on them if you wanted to to protect them from dust. I decided that I didn't like the look of it, so I did end up taking the lid off. Initially, I had a plan to keep my sanding beds just in their original packaging, but decided I didn't like the look of that. So these containers are from Ikea, and I decided to separate them by grit. So I have my medium grit on the left, my fine grit in the middle there, and to make sure that I don't get these mixed up, I decided to label the containers. This is the label maker that I've been using lately. It's just a P-Touch label maker, and these are clear transparent labels that I get for them. I did decide to store my LE wipes in another container like this, but I am gonna have to get some more of these because I have multiple kinds of wipes that I use on my clients. So one of the advantages to using these stackable bins from Ikea is that they stack really nicely on top of each other. I was able to kind of fit them nice in the drawer, move them around wherever I wanted to, and they really utilize the height space, which again is something that I said that we needed to focus on when you're using a deep drawer. 
ta-da this is what this drawer came out like I love how it came together you guys I think that it functions really well what works really nice is that when I need supplies at my nail desk I can quickly come over grab some take just what I need have it sitting beside me at my nail desk this works really well for any of those excess bulk supplies that you need a storage space for now, if you guys don't have a drawer space like this, these containers fit really nicely in a cupboard, would fit really nicely on a shelf. Because they are clear, you can easily see what's inside of them. I would also recommend labeling them, that way you know where everything goes back to if you run out. I'll just quickly give you guys a little bit of a tour with what else is in here. So this drawer here houses a lot of my background props. It's a giant mess too, this is the next project. This is under my sink. I do like how I have it organized. I just need to utilize the height space a little bit better. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you got some good organizational tips. I know we all kind of struggle with how to store all these little things that might be in the nail studio that we use on a constant basis, especially an overflow of bulk supplies such as this. This way they're easy and quick to grab when you need them and you know what you have in stock. Make sure you're following me on all my social media and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.